This is Mr. Adam Awaziki, the head of academics for the grade five up to 12 in Sabis International School Ronda. I'm happy today to demonstrate for you the SDP to help you uh, monitor more your child at home and help him or her or them to do better and to study smart, but not hard. I will share my screen and I will start by logging to a service digital platform using a student credential for you to know exactly how it works. So I will use a student credential to log in. Now I'm logging in to, this is the service digital platform for a student. So I advise you whenever you want to check on the progress of uh, the details uh, for service uh, digital platform for the student to use your child account also to check not only your account as a parent. So the most important aspect here will be the exam preparation. I will start by exam preparation. You go to exam preparation to know that the school on a weekly basis is uploading some quizzes, online quizzes under each week. So for example, now if I take week seven, week seven had these, these quizzes for the students to solve and practice uh, for them to do well in week seven or during week seven. So now if I go, now we are currently, by the way, in week seven. The, the week end of week seven, so that means this week end, the students can study the quizzes for week eight. So to be ready to do the quiz in week eight. So now we are, uh, today is the 17th of October. That means the next week, uh, during this week and of this week, the students need to master the online quizzes for week eight. So to, they can open the quiz and the practice. Now for you to check if the student, if your, if your child finalizes the quiz, you check using his, his credentials or her credentials, you go there. Last take it means the quiz is finalized. If you double click or click, the, uh, the last taken, you can view the history. Here you can know if your child fully solved the quiz and how much he scores or she scores. Here the dot means correct, X means incorrect, here correct after retake, not answered as a star, partially correct P, sometimes the questions are part A and B, and the written part is not here. It's only here it shows them the multiple choice, okay? So using this, uh, this uh, quizzes, the students can master the concepts for the coming year, uh, week. And if they have any questions, they can ask it, the teachers ahead of them. So I advise you to, uh, the, to ensure that uh, your child is solving these quizzes and to check uh, their results. Any progress means that the quiz is not finalized or partially finalized, so the student must come back and solve the quiz. More important also, we have something under all weeks. Under all weeks, we upload for you course questions. The course questions, they are the question and their, uh, uh, their answer key. Let me, for example, show you uh, how it works. Now I clicked on the course questions. Now it's downloaded here. It's downloaded here. I, I, can, I can open the course question and these are questions for each section. For example, here, uh, chapter one, uh, section 1.1. You see, these are the questions. The grid. A lot of parents ask about the grids. Grids are very important, essentially questions. And if the students master, master them, uh, they are, ma are master the basic concept of the chapter. Grids are called grid questions as, as long as the students are um, not taking the exam. Now, when the students will take the exam and they uh, fail or struggle to answer this question, the question they go to their prep list, the prep list where the students can have a chance again to clear uh, these questions where we bring the students to the to, to stand alone session to give them another chance to correct these wrong questions that they solved in the exam. If they want to practice these wrong questions, they can come under the grid. This as the big grid here, it will give you the prep list. I'll repeat the prep list are the basic questions that are not answered in the exam. So the student can come to the to the grid question, under the grid question, and the practice them again. We can give you sample questions and etc. But here you can select the question. Uh, at home, okay, and you can 
practice the questions by selecting one one each uh, with one each another you, you can select them all here under description if you'd like a student can select them here and you go and say practice selected when you press practice selected the students can clear or they can we can say can practice their prep list before going to the standalone session the standalone session is not an exam a standalone session is a, is, is a session that will help the students master the question that they missed in the exam but this will give them a bonus on their uh, uh, on their uh, total average. For example, if they go to stand alone sessions and they cleared uh, the, the the prep list, you guys are going to have some uh, extra marks on their total average, which will help them improve their average by clearing their prep list during the stand alone sessions. Here on SDP, they can practice for them when they go to the real clear, clear prep list. They can do well. So. I'll repeat the most important thing is for sure moving in uh, 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 practicing the online quizzes and the course questions uh, on uh, SDP. We, we advise we advise always use pen and paper to take notes and to practice all kind of exercises. If we go to course fraction here, dear all, the course fraction uh, uh, practice, the course practice are another source of online quizzes, which will help the kids master more and more their exam. For example, here how, here how it will work. I can go to math, for example. I know that my teacher finalized chapter two, section four. You see, chapter two, section four. I can also press and practice the quiz. Uh, 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 for me to master it. I can practice all the quizzes mentioned in economics, biology, French. I'm now I'm picking here grade 11 student. You can check your 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 child uh, course practice, which is excellent for them also. The other thing now, you sometimes see codes of the quizzes. If you go here to schedules and timetables, and you go to exam timetable, you're going to see here the timetable for the exams, and I will tell you how it will work. You can download it. Let me see. I'm in, in, I'm in week seven. If I go here, I see some codes. You see some codes. Let's see here in CAMC, or I can say math. You see some codes like math. You have the code here 01906. What this code means? This code means if you go to week seven on the SDP under exam preparation, let's, let's go to week seven. You're going to see that the math here is the same code that the students must go read the timetable, okay, and check which section they need to master here before they go to exam. So they need to go check the exam timetable, come check the code here and see they need to master 3.2, 3.3, and 4.1. But before they, before the, doing the quiz, I advise them to master the concept on their ebook and to solve the course questions first, then go and test themselves with this quiz. So this is the process of studying for online quizzes. And this is the process on, on how the students can clear the, the prep list uh, here, the practice it uh, for them to be able to clear it and, and on standalone prep, prep list sessions. The performance here, they can check their performance. Um, uh, uh, I, thought I go more to, if you would like to hear uh, uh, on-demand tutoring, uh, it's available for, uh, for some of, uh, of, the, of the topics, which is very important, where the students, if are, they are challenged with, for example, say I'm taking biology now, if that challenge say with a certain uh, biology, say section here, uh, one, this, they can open a video and it's wonderful where they can see a teacher explaining for them, explaining for them the course and where they can ask the questions. You see here, the teacher is explaining. Okay, so allow me to say that the resources in service are tremendous in a way that students are not are not allowed for sure to fail any 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 exam. Okay, so we explained the uh, timetables. Here you can see also if you would like to to see more the class timetable, you can see it. Uh, distance learning videos, ex exam preparation, as I told you, grid is very, the most important thing is exam preparation, grid, and uh, timetables, performance, you can check also, and demand tutoring is uh, very nice. So, like this students, for sure, can master their exams. I advise you always to ensure that a student or your child is finalizing these quizzes that will not take a lot of time, maximum 30 minutes, 
during the weekend, and you can drill and drill them again and again and again. On the other hand, I'll be so happy to help you um, with anything you wish, please. You are always welcome to uh, arrange for a meeting and we sit and we discuss all the details. I need you all as parents to feel that you are supported and not lost with any single uh, aspect when it comes to service resources. The other thing we're going to, we can discuss for sure uh, later on, we have the PAL, Personalized Adaptive Learning, where this is super important for the, for the, for the students to practice at home, where it can give a, 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 a diversity of quizzes that students can master, uh, uh, and this will help them a lot to adapt the, the course and to do well. So this is what I want uh, to, uh, like to update you today. I need you to uh, ensure that you are uh, perfectly understanding the system and perfectly ready to, uh, to supervise um, your uh, 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 children at home. And uh, in turn, in our, in our school here, we are always working to ensure that excellent learning is taking place, uh, teach and retest. Uh, analyzing uh, data, checking uh, which course of students are struggling. So we'll do all what we can, uh, following the uh, core values of service to help our beloved students. Thank you. I will remind you again, if you need any help, I'm always here, ready to assist you, and have a lovely evening. Best regards.